Hey everybody, Rick Needham from Trackmaster, creating a YouTube video showing how I use Trackmaster Plus software to handicap thoroughbred racing. Numerous folks have sent me emails noting that I do handicapping demonstrations at numerous tracks, but they live in different parts of the country, and I'll take advantage of some new software called Cam Studio IM to demonstrate how I handicap a race, in this case today from Aqueduct. I've downloaded the race cards from the Trackmaster website and I'm going to focus on race number seven. This is the opening screen by the way of the Trackmaster software and by double clicking on race seven my data then begins to open. The first screen I'm going to look at is called the Trackmaster Snapshot. It shows post positions, how many days these horses have been laid off, uh, win per starts on dirt route races. This, by the way, is a 8.3 furlong route test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt, uh, dirt track. The morning line odds, power rating, which is a mathematical compilation of speed, class, and pace. The speed rating, uh, I also use the class rating, and this is not a sprint race, so I'm going to ignore the early early pace. So let's start off by sorting the power ratings from best to worst. I note immediately that the top power rated horse worth a buck is a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, which means that he has the best speed class and pace figures in this field today. It also has a huge speed advantage over the second power rated horse, Mighty Lover. In terms of class ratings, both of these horses, or all three of these horses, are dropping in class, sorry, going from 91 class to an 84 class rating today. As I noted, none of these, this is not a sprint race, so I'm not concerned about early speed. Here at Aqueduct, however, on the winterized inner dirt track, early speed for the six furlong sprints is an incredible statistic for you to check out. I'll close this screen and go to the pace statistics. I have two possibilities. I can look at pace figures, which in some cases you can consider as being miles per hour. I per personally like the style figures because it shows me the pace as the race develops. So in this race right here, I, I would highlight entry number six, Purge Bird. It starts off in about fifth place and closes to about third. The most important screen in my handicapping arsenal is the speed figure. And what I'm going to look for now are horses that have speed ratings within 10 units of today's Trackmaster class rating of 84. The class ratings and the speed ratings are calculated on the same scale. So, in other words, a horse that has a, say, a race of 81 speed rating is going to be very competitive in this class rating of 84. A horse that has a speed rating in the 60s or 70s probably is not going to be competitive at all. In fact, I'm not trying to pick winners here, folks. I'm trying to eliminate horses that I don't think are going to hit the board because I like to play the boxed exotics. So winning is not my most important criteria. It's picking two or three horses that will combine for a boxed exotic. So I'm going to sort the speed ratings from best to worst. And once again, I'm going to looking for entries between 74 and up. Uh, the first two are highlighted. And by the way, as I turn these units into green figures, these clicks are being recorded into a notebook, and it's the notebook that I'll use to do, make my final handicapping decisions. So as I'm handicapping here, and by the way, I apologize for the sound. I'm going to need to get a new microphone. I guess that Trackmaster plus power rating uh, for a number uh, for a worth of buck the power pony uh, is justified as you notice that it's been very very consistent racing through five races all with what I call power runs 
Normally, if it was a maiden race or a juvenile race, I would check the pedigree. I'll do that for you right now, although I do not use that in races that are not maiden or juvenile. Record of foals. I usually highlight entries that have sires with in the money percentages of 40% or higher and they have to have had at least a thousand starts. So nice pedigrees here on 2, 3, 1, 4, and 8. 2, 3, 1, 4, and 8. And I'll check out now the jockey trainer statistics. Don't really base a lot of handicapping decisions on this statistic, which I'm actually looking for would be jockeys and trainers that have at least 20 starts but have a win percentage 50% or greater. I don't see any in this field today. And finally, I'm going to check on the medical equipment. All the horses are racing on Lasix, and I'm looking for huge weight changes. Nothing important here. So now it's time to do the handicapping. So I'm going to go to my notebook. This is a visual of what my printout would look like. And it looks like to me that I'd be boxing number nine, worth a buck, number seven, mighty lover, and I'm going to say number four, Gramercy. Nine, seven, four for your boxed exotics in race seven today.